Hey guys, it's Tech Specialist here, and I got the LG Spirit 4G hands-on for you guys. Um, we're just gonna do a quick video running through LG's UI and a couple tips, tips and tricks. So first, we're gonna go through the lock screen here. So as you see, you I just place my finger, and the directions are there. You can swipe any direction to unlock. It does not have to be in the middle here. It can be from here, from here, from here, whatever. On the bottom, we have four applications, phone, messaging, email, and camera. Those are preloaded. You may change them as you please. Um, so if you just tap and swipe out of them, it sends you straight to the application for easy and quick access. Um, one of the things that I like about LG's UI um, that I favor the most is the status bar because it's kind of like the Samsung Galaxy S3 status bar where um, you can swipe side to side to get more... Um, excuse me some more applications and you can edit here if you click edit um you get a couple of applications you're allowed to put there but I'm not gonna run through every single application because I know majority of you know um also a cool new feature here is quick memo so you can access quick memo from the top status bar here or you may press the volume up and down rocker key right here hold them both so quick memo is just sorry it's an Okay, let's get this in focus. Quick memo is just um, let's say you're you're on an internet page and you need to save a note real quick, and you write whatever note. You can write that, and then you come here to the right corner where it looks like a little memory card, and you click, and it saves to your gallery for another day for you to remember. So um, we're gonna run really quickly through Quadrant Standard, do a quick Quadrant Standard benchmark. Let's make sure no applications are running in the background. Close that off. And we're gonna run a full benchmark. So um quadrant standard is a test. Um this small line in the corner that you see here is not the phone. That is the an application that I have. It's called Unity Launcher. So if you heard of Ubuntu, um the all touch screen um operating system, this is an app that's free. I'm not gonna show you it now because we're running through a benchmark and I don't want to disturb the benchmark. Um, but if you're interested, I'll put it. I'll put a link for the description below for where you can get it in the Play Store. So, um, I don't know if you can tell here. The screen's quite clear, but um, I do have a screen protector on, so you're not seeing its full capacity. And um, also this camera isn't that well. So, uh, we're almost done here with um, Quadrant Standard. We should be done in a couple seconds. Let's give it a little bit more time. But it runs through Quadrant Standard very quickly, and yes, we do want to proceed. So our score is 5680. I've got better scores. I've got a, the highest score I got so far was 59090. Um. So overall, this device does get high, super high scores. Um, I'm surprised the HTC One X got a higher score this time because this device always gets a higher score than the HTC One X. So um. Yeah, I did a comparison with the Samsung Galaxy S3 using the same exact benchmark, same internet service, and such and such. And regardless of what the score is, it is higher than the Samsung Galaxy S3 and also with a couple other benchmarks I can tune to. So um, when I do get my hands on the Samsung Galaxy S3, I'll do a side-to-side -side comparison. Um, so overall, this phone is fairly quick. We can. This is the um, app drawer here. Um, you can access your downloaded content and your widget straight from here. So, um, this phone does retail for two seventy, and you get seven dollar mail-in rebate. So, um, it does come preloaded with Chrome, Facebook, Twitter, and a couple of Metro PCS apps. Since this is a Metro PCS device, but majority of all those apps are uninstall uninstallable, and it does come with four. I believe this is 4.11 gigs of space once everything's uninstalled, but it does come with 4 gigs. Um, so we're going to end the video here. If there's any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Subscribe and like and share this video. Thank you guys, and see you guys later.